Okay, hello. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a camouflage material, uh, a really simple way of doing it within uh, Blender itself. Um, and in this example here, I've made a, a kind of a desert camo. I've made a, a kind of snow camo. And here's one here in a jungle camo. And the beauty of this is you can just change the kind of uh, detail of the camo and make really quick adjustments. Um, here's a variation on the jungle camo here. Um, it's all done really quickly, all totally within Blender. Um, let's get started. So what I've done here, I've taken our um, the example model I showed earlier. I've copied this object here and duplicated it over here and I've removed um, all materials. Okay, so we're currently in the layout view. What we want to do now is come over to um, this top by here and click on shading view. Now this shading view is slightly different to the one you might see in default. I've done the right and left view here. You might see a kind of top and bottom view. If I click on this object here, nothing is in the window here. We need to add, um, basically to fix that, and um, we, we're gonna make a material for this object. Come down here, click on this one, material properties, and then click on the plus to new. There we go. And, and it's generated a material over here in the node window, okay. Now to create our camouflage, we need to add a, a few more nodes. So we start with one, which is the text uh, coordinate node. And we do that, just come over here and add. You can go into search and I say text, I'm sorry, texture. Texture um, coordinate, there we go. Okay, I'm just laying out the, these out like this because um, I'm gonna put them vertically because it's just easy to see on the screen for yourselves. Uh, the next one is Vector Transform. It's a quick way of doing this, by the way, is Shift and A. And let's type in Vector Transform. There we go. And the next one is Musgrave Texture. So Shift and A. And again, Musgrave Texture. And there's another one we need to add, which is a color ramp. So Shift and A. And then let's just type in ramp color ramp there we go okay so these are our uh, nodes let me just see if I can squeeze these in a bit more if it make them slightly larger just so you can see what's going on there we go like I say normally I'd I'd lay these out horizontally so from the first one texture coordinate Take your generated out into the vector of for your vector transform. Take the vector out of transform into your Musgrave texture vector input there. Take your height output here and put it into this one here, FAC. I think that might be a factor, I'm not exactly sure. And then take your color out of your color ramp and put it into your base color here. And there we go. Now you've got the basis of our um, of our camouflage. And it set the, the default colors are black here and white here. So let's make this a kind of a desert color. The way you do this, select on, on this little kind of top selector here. There's your, here's your color selector. Let's try and select a kind of gray, not a gray, a kind of browny, um, deserty color. I'm not going to be too fussy about this, I think, just for, this is for demonstration purposes. Obviously the finessing and the tweaking is what's going to make it for you. For you. But I do want to make it look fairly kind of real if you like. There we go. And so that's our first color and our second color come over here, click on this one and let's click a second color. There we go. And we can make this lighter or darker as we want. There we go. Now, this this Musgrave texture is where some of the magic happens. So you can change the numbers on here. Okay, and we can just, let's try, let's try that. And then the detail, you can change the detail, you can change the dimensions, and you can change this button here, which is, Lack your arid, lack lack no <laughs> I don't quite know what that means, uh, but that's how you do it. Um, if if um, 
I do think I, I pretty much know um, if I'm if I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what worked for this one. I've got the figures written down here. If I type in uh, 10.8 for that and I type in the detail which is 1.5 there we go and the the lack narrity I've got as being 0 0.7 let's type in 0.7 there we go did I have anything for dimension I'm not sure about what the dimension was let's try the dimension there we go something like that there we go okay I'm just going to change these colors slightly more so we get something a bit more there we go you get the basic idea and that is how we do it okay slightly different colors but you can fiddle around with the colors yourself um, without getting them actually I'm a bit of an I'm a bit of a stickler for uh, shouldn't really dwell too long on this should I let's just make that a bit darker well you get the idea anyway and that is how you create your uh, camouflage and just with tweeting tweaking these you can change them like I said from black or white or jungly colors so there we go just um, a, a few tweaks and whatnot and you've got your camouflage without even having to import or anything like that and it all fits nicely around your object and all kind of seamlessly fits together really quickly. Thank you very much.